Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the show. If you're watching the video of this, you can see that I'm in the car right now. I'm actually um, trying to take advantage of my time between traveling from home to the facility where I do private training take advantage of it uh, and produce some some content for you guys uh, for the YouTube and for the podcast. So a thought that I had today that I thought would be valuable for me to share, I was actually doing the dishes uh, when this thought kind of came to me, and it was about the concept of failing fast. Um, it comes up every now and then um, during lessons where maybe I instruct a player to, to do a certain uh, task or uh, feel something in their swing, and I, I see them um, over-processing it, right, where it's taking them too long and they're actually uh, kind of locked up, right? They're hesitant to actually go through uh, the instruction, thinking um, you know, that maybe they need to be perfect uh, on that very first attempt. And one of the things that I say to them is, fail fast, um, the faster you fail, the quicker that I can, I can correct you, um, rather than, you know, waiting, you know, wasting time. Uh, and then, you know, you maybe say you still do it wrong. And now I'm, we're behind on time when we're just avoiding the inevitable of me, you know, giving you further instruction. So that concept, um, I think can be applied in so many different ways um, all across all areas of life when trying to be better at something. Um, we have to remember that we all start um, from scratch pretty much and when, in terms of skills. I mean, even just in terms of walking, right? As, as young, as babies, we, we weren't born walking. Um, we had to learn to first even roll over, then crawl, you know, then, then finally stand. Um, and then eventually take your first steps. Well, how many times does a baby fail? Many, many times, you know, but that baby will never give up, right? Um, and will always be encouraged to, to take that next step and to, to give it another shot. Um, but anyway, the point of it is, is that um, to be great in baseball or to make tremendous progress in, say, you know, let's just say you're 15 years old and you have, you know, three years till you're 18 to be the best that you could be to get signed to, uh, you know, to the school that you want to go to or to possibly go pro. Uh, now, of course, it doesn't have to happen at 18. Um, you can go on to, um, to pro ball in the years after, but let's just, as an example, say we have three years of time to be the best that we can possibly be. That being said, we need to be quick about it. We need to try new things. We need to test things. And when things work or when they don't work, right, we can, we can qu quickly correct it, adjust it, tweak it and move forward. But if we're sitting back and we're holding back from pushing ourselves farther in fear of failure, you're just wasting time because people that, that go to a high level, myself included, I didn't make it to the major leagues, but the, I did go pretty high in, in professional baseball for played 10 years. And there were things that I did that I believe were the, the keys to getting me there. That when it came to getting up in the clutch situation, you know, obviously you don't control that, but getting up in those situations, I wanted to be in those situations, those high pressure situations where, I mean, I envisioned it my entire life, you know, dreaming about being up in the ninth inning with, the, with, you know, bases loaded, full count, two outs, you know, bottom of the ninth. It's like, those are the situations that we train for. And you got to want to be in those types of situations, uh, whether you fail or not. And when you fail, that's just information. And that's just experience that you can apply to the next time. You know, and then in other areas where maybe you are in more control of the scenario where um, weight loss, uh, you know, um, developing your, your strength. Some people are, are afraid to, to go to the gym because they're intimidated by people at the gym. It's like, how else are you going to get stronger than going to the gym and failing, right? And, and trying to lift a weight and then realizing you can't lift it. Like, that's how you get stronger. So failure in itself is the teacher. Failure itself is what we need in order to be as successful as we can possibly be and be the best that we could possibly be. I fail every single day.
<laughs> you know, and when you fail so much, you get to a point where it's like, I don't fear it anymore. So if you're somebody that you're trying, there's something that, that is holding you back where you're a little bit fearful of failure, just know that it is on the other side of that failure um, is where you are going to begin to grow and begin to develop into a better version of yourself. So anyways, that was just a thought that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you know, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, insightful, uh, give it a like uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're listening to this on the podcast, uh, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. Greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, and it, again, if you enjoyed it, if you found this uh, information helpful, um, even if it just made you uh, just you know one percent uh, better than you were before this video started, then please share this episode with your friends. That's how this podcast uh, can grow, can reach more people. We'll not be putting ads in this podcast. Uh, you know, waste your time with that. I just want to share the message, share helpful information that's going to make you better. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one.